This is my Dyson Ball Total Clean. My name is David and this is my review. I really think this is going to be a good vacuum cleaner for somebody that has a lot of carpet in a really large house. The Dyson Ball does require that it's plugged into a wall in order for it to be under power. One thing that I really like about Dyson is the bagless design where you don't have to deal with bags or anything. All the dirt and everything gets sucked up into this container and then you're able to simply just release it out into the trash can by pressing this red button a second time and it will be released where this flap like opens up here and all the dirt is able to come out. And then once you're done, all you have to do is um, just go right back into the machine and it slips in pretty easy, no problem at all. With this vacuum cleaner, you do get four combination brushes. This one in particular is our carbon fiber uh, bristle brush, which allows you to clean things like blinds and stuff and remove dust. This attachment here has really stiff bristles, which allows you to kind of aggregate dust and everything, and then allow the vacuum cleaner to actually suck that dust up. We have our combination tool here, which allows us to both get into cracks and crevices, or again, if we want to use that aggregator brush here. And one thing worth noting is it is able to ride along via this attachment area here. One other thing to note with this tool is you can actually remove this top here and then use it so that way you're able to get all the way into like whatever crack or crevice that you're trying to get into. And then when you're done, you can just slide this tool um, simply back onto it. And you're good to go. Lastly, we have this tool here, and this one's good for like couches or stairs. In terms of maintenance, there are two filters, one up here at the top, as well as one here down here at the ball area here. This bottom filter will need to be taken out, removed and replaced periodically, where this filter here at the top will need to be removed and cleaned either like three to six months. And the way you clean it is just by running cold water over it to wash out all the dirt and debris. Once you're done cleaning it, all you have to do is let it dry for 48 hours and then you can replace it back in the top bin. One thing that's really nice about the Dyson Total Clean is the front head actually automatically adjusts depending on what service that you're actually on. This helps prevent a problem that a lot of these other ball models have of bogging down when they reach carpet. One of the problems that I have with the Dyson Ball is it only has one power setting. It's always on max power or no power at all. I find this kind of unfortunate because I would like to be able to adjust the power depending on what attachment or whatever type of surface that I'm running my vacuum cleaner on. In order to use the attachments, we first need to swivel this um, little cable guide down here. And then from there, we lift up this top, pull this out. And then this is our wand here. So this hose is actually like incredibly stretchy. You can see how much it's able to stretch here and then it kind of retracts back into position. But between this hose here and this attachment here, you're actually able to get this thing to stretch out to about 13 feet in total. Once we're ready to put on our attachment, we just simply slide it on here and then it's locked into position by this clip. When we're ready to release it, we just press this button here and then the attachment is able to be removed. We're also able to remove this wand if we wanted to um, work like in our car or something like that, then we can just um, add our attachment back on here and we're good to go. And when we're ready, all we have to do is slide our wand back in. One thing to note is this wand should go in fairly easily. Um, don't force it down or else you could potentially um, be doing damage to things like the hose itself. Despite the fact that this vacuum cleaner requires the use of a power cord, this cord is incredibly long and it reaches about 28 feet in total, just shy of 30. Although this vacuum cleaner is incredibly powerful in terms of suction, it is also incredibly loud and I'm going to demonstrate that now by turning it on. The way you switch between where the suction is actually coming from, from the vacuum head or the wand here, is by adjusting the vacuum cleaner either backwards or forwards. So once it's in this upright position here, all the power is going to be going to the wand, where if I tilt the vacuum cleaner back like this, all the suction is going to be going to the vacuum head here. I personally find the way this vacuum cleaner gets in its upright mode and then also goes back to its recline mode to be a little bit clunky. You do have to kind of force it in position to break it and I'll demonstrate that now. So you do have to move this vacuum cleaner very deliberately in order to get it out of the standing position. You can see here if I just tilt it back, it's not going to go out of the standing position by itself. So the way you do that is actually by kind of forcing it and you're going to have to move it like kind of swiftly down like that and then it's gonna be able to go into its um, vacuuming position where the uh, ball is gonna be able to roll and everything without these little back rollers. The standing it up is kind of equally as clunky as well, where you stand it up its first time, the legs go down, and then you'll hear a second clip where it's actually in the upright position and standing. This being a Dyson product, it does come with a five-year warranty 
as well as Dyson support. So you can call their number and get somebody actually physically on the phone to help you out with any problems you might have with your device. So if you have a lot of carpet in your house or you're trying to do a lot of deep cleaning and you're looking for a very powerful, long lasting vacuum cleaner, this Dyson Ball Complete is a great option.